Tom Myers, intercollegiate athletic recruiter at men's soccer coach, Jefferson University. So I started working in February of 2010. Um, it was my second year um, of coaching collegiately, uh, but definitely one of the best years here at Jefferson. So I started originally becoming interested in soccer, uh, first as a player. Um, I started playing when I was five years old. Um, lucky enough, my parents got me involved. Um, and from that point on, um, I just ran with it. Uh, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to play at the national level, um, youth level uh, for the United States. Um, but then also, obviously, as I went along, I always had the goal to be a professional. Wow, as a player, I would say it's the same way I coach. Um, high intensity, uh, I really want to be in your face. Um, I want to dictate what goes on. Um, I was the same way as a player, and I, I like to say that I, I coach that way as well. I attended the University of Massachusetts. Um, my major was psychology. Uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to study when I originally went to the University of Massachusetts, but um, psychology is one of those fields I was always interested in. Obviously, it's the study of the mind, and um, I think you can kind of apply that to anything. At what point did you realize you had a chance to play professionally? Well, I realized that um, I had a chance when I was lucky enough to be in a very professional environment. Um, I grew up with um, a lot of professional players around me. I was fortunate enough to do a lot of pickup games with those guys. Um, so probably when I was approaching high school is when I really recognized what talent I had and um, that I could possibly pursue being a professional soccer player. Explain futsal in one sentence. Futsal in one sentence, man, that's tough. So it's a high-paced, fast action game uh, that is used to help out, fundamentally-wise, um, the outdoor game. What are your favorite memories from competing on the U.S. Futsal National Team? I think my favorite memories, or any time that I look back and think about my professional career, it's going to be about the locker room. Um, yeah, you remember the wall, the wins and the losses, uh, but I think the main thing is the guys that you're around and the work that you put in day in and day out is what you remember the most. Uh, but the most gratifying moment, I would say, is when we qualified for uh, the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. The favorite place that I visited during my pro career uh, would have actually been Brazil. Um, I mean, it's an amazing place there. Uh, obviously, I'm a coach, um, I was a player. Uh, the game of soccer over in Brazil is the main, main game, right? Over here in the United States, we have American football, but over there, it's, it is football, it's soccer. So uh, the experience that I had over there really shows you the, how cultures are uh, involved in the game of, of, of soccer. Um, and I was really able to kind of experience that. Um, and it kind of gave me a different perspective um, as I came back to the United States and began coaching. When did you realize you wanted to become a coach? Well, I think I originally realized um, as I was ending towards my professional career. Um, I think it's one thing, though, unconsciously that I might have recognized before that. Um, I think one thing as a soccer player, a player in general of any sport, is that you're always constantly thinking about how you can progress, right? Um, how you can move forward within the sport. And that was my thought process um, going into it. Um, and as I was playing professionally, uh, the one thing I was just thinking of is, hey, maybe this could be the next avenue of where I could continue my career within the game. The best coaching advice that I've received would have been from John Lowry. John Lowry was assistant coach at University of Massachusetts. Um, and I remember we were getting ready to run the Cooper test. The Cooper test, for those that don't know, was a two mile test in 12 minutes. Um, and just like any other group of athletes, um, obviously we were complaining about doing the two mile. Uh, but the one thing that he told me, and it sticks with me to this day, and I was a player then, but I still use it as a coach. And he said, just get it done. Um, it's 12 minutes of your life, just get it done. And that's something that still sticks with me today uh, because I use it as I'm coaching my team. Uh, but there was one other thing that I really recognized was the fact that he was getting ready to run it with us. Um, and the one thing that I really try to teach our players about, it's not about just doing the work here on the field, it's also about doing off the field. And what I learned uh, during that moment from John Lyra was that it's about the lifestyle. Favorite musical artist? Jay-Z. Favorite professional soccer team? Philadelphia Union. Favorite sport to watch besides soccer? Football. Favorite Philly cheesesteak destination? El Sanjos, right down the road. Last movie you watched from beginning to end? Black Panther. Last one, and it's a big one. Messi or Ronaldo? That is a big one. Um, I like both players, they're both uh, amazing athletes. I would say that I'll have to go with Ronaldo because what I see from him is the progression of the day-to-day -day. Um, and he's all about the process and that's something that we really try to have as one of our principles at JMS.